World Economic Forum report suggests that by 2025, 25% of job roles will come from new skill set, new demands, and new type of jobs. The reason is that gradually after automation and advancement of uh, technology, additional capitals are created and it will also create new type of job roles and uh, there will be new expectations, new uh, demands from employers and uh, companies. So there are some skill set also known as skill of the future which focus on non-traditional skill and expertise which are still not taught in many traditional qualifications. And if they are taught, it is very basic and theoretical. Despite right qualifications such as MBA, Finance, CA, CFA, ACCA, FRM, CISI, CPA, etc., professionals and students are not able to get into right roles or even in the desired companies. Hello and welcome. My name is Nidhish Singh, Vice President in JP Morgan and a member of ACCA, CISI, Institute of Directors. After completing my graduation from UK, I worked in UK, Ireland, Hong Kong, Singapore before coming to India and um, I have worked with um, some top investment banks and Fortune 500 companies such as Citibank, State Street, JP Morgan and SSNC Technologies. So based on my thousands of uh, uh, interviews, interaction with professionals and the webinars, we realized that the demand of skills are changing fast but the training and upgrade in the skill set is not as fast. We need to train professionals for soft skills, fintech, automation, emotional intelligence, together with uh, um, uh, high quality or um, reputed qualifications such as ACCA, CFA, FRM. So there has to be a balance of both world. Now to address this growing skill gap between the job requirement and job posting and what the professionals, professionals are able to offer, we needed to take some initiative and we founded FinSecond Institute. So the question is that how we are going to be different and here it is. We focus in FinSecond Institute on preparing a complete professionals using our uh, rich corporate experience. Together with providing classes and the coaching, we aim to help our students and professionals in placement and career development by reviewing their resume, connecting to industry and experts, um, uh, recruitment uh, companies, preparing for interviews, providing industrial mentorship and the guidance. And these are the valuable information and guidance that any professionals from uh, after passing any qualification always need at the start of their career. So we are not only providing the coaching, we are providing coaching classes plus a complete career solution in India. And in that way, we are unique. We focus on end-to-end -end professional development and not just on coaching because we are from banks, worked at various leadership level such as vice president, senior vice president and director. These are some of the um, uh, uh, designation of our faculties and the tutors and uh, I have been myself uh, worked at those levels. So we know what employers and companies are expecting from you as a candidate for the right roles. At FinSepin Institute, we provide classes for SCCA, CFA, and FRM. I, together with other faculties in institute, have trained over 3,000 ACCA, CFA, and other accounting students. I have been also official trainer um, of uh, my employers, such as JP Morgan and CTM Bank. I have also given uh, lectures in uh, top MBA colleges across uh, different countries, including Indian Institute of Management. So let's uh, understand what are the uniqueness and what are the uh, benefits of different qualifications. Now, ACCA, let's start with this. You can start this qualification from 10th standard and appear for 17 papers. It may take you two and a half to three years. You can also start 
after 12th and have to clear only 13 papers. If you are a graduate already in accounting, finance or business, you can get some more exemptions. However, any graduate can also pursue ACCA. So that's for ACCA pass rate is between, uh, depending on the papers, right? Uh, different papers have different pass rate. So it ranges between 30 to 80 percent. So you can complete this in almost two to two and a half years. The scope of the job, the career and the, uh, uh, and the overall uh, market is in accounting, finance, in India and abroad, any size of company and in any industry. You can work in manufacturing or IT um, versus consultancy. You can work in retail banks. You can work in investment banks. If you look at my own um, career and the type of organizations I have worked, I have worked in um, IT companies like um, Infosys. Um, I have worked also in consultancy firms like SSNC. Um, I have um, worked like uh, seven, eight years in Citibank, State Street, JP Morgan. So all sort of uh, employers welcome SCCA. CFA, you can pursue this qualification after graduation. Even if you are appearing for last year of examination for, for your degree exam, you can still register for CFA. CFA is a three level qualification. It's not a split yeah, among the paper. It is not a paper wise, but it is a level wise. So you have to appear for three levels of uh, examinations and each level will consist of a group of different subjects. So for example, for level one and level two, you will you will have the questions from uh, eight to 10 different subjects. Whereas in level three, you'll have five, six different subjects only. And you have to sit for uh, two sitting um, of examination uh, held on a single day. So that is a uh, structure of CFA qualification. Pass rate is between uh, 40 to uh, 55 percent and um, overall it, it will take you one and a half year to three to four years depending on how much time you spend. Career scope, CFA is more specialized in investment banking, trading, capital market, uh, risk management, and even research or uh, subjects or expertise like economics. Many CFA works as a uh, economist or a professor of accounting, finance or economics as well. So it has a very high uh, degree of respect in accounting and finance world. Uh, so it is considered a gold level qualification as well in finance. Now next, FRM. FRM is a two level qualification. Again, like CFA is three level, so FRM is two level. Uh, you need to appear for a set of different um, subjects uh, in year one and year two. You need to pass year one, uh, sorry, year two examination within four years of passing year one or level one of FRM. FRM can also be pursued uh, after graduation. Even if you are writing the exam and you are in the final year of your degree course, you can appear for, you can register for FRM qualification. Career scope wise, FRM is uh, more suitable for those who want to pursue the career in treasury management, risk management, um, uh, 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 capital market, etc. So it is very, very specialized and quantitative in nature. However, it uh, provides a great uh, career as well. So that is the summary of the qualifications and what we do at FinSapient and how we help the professionals. So please share this video uh, and um, this uh, information with your friends and colleagues. Now, do not forget to subscribe for the channel as well because you will get a lot of uh, latest updates, information uh, about the job market, financial market, and uh, SCCA, CFA, FRM qualifications, IFRS. Uh, so you, obviously you don't want to miss all that. So please do subscribe and share with others so everyone can benefit. Sharing is caring, right? So best of luck, happy learning, kabil bano, and success will come itself. Thank you so much.